So what we're going to do today is that we're going to take the reel apart and this is the same procedure as you use if you want to change the retrieve of your spool but we're going to take it apart and we're going to separate the spool from the reel and that you do by just pressing this button and then the spool comes off like this and then we're going to dip coat this with plastic dip into camo matte black it's going to provide it with um, a matte black surface of this rubbery compound and that's going to give it a much nicer smoother feel and also a warmer feel than the actual aluminum in itself so the first thing we need to do is to remove the retainer clip so with a little small screwdriver we got it off that easily it's a bit of grease here coming out I'm putting the retainer clip over there and now lift off and remove the drag casing and this is the drag casing simply flip the bearing 180 degrees and replace to assume the opposite retrieve so if you want to change the direction of your Reddington reel this is it simply flip the bearing well it's not that easy to get that bearing out may attach a little bit because it is some so this is the one you turn around if you want to change the retrieve of your reel but I'm placing it back because I'm going to keep the retrieve I have and the brake in itself is not instructed to be open but we're going to open it anyway there's a clip in here very simple and it comes out like that and the clip opens here right next to that little dot poking out we're going to take it from the other side whoops see it flies away quite easily and here you can see the clip so the clip sits in like this so the next thing you have is a little washer that's sitting in here and since everything is greased up, it's a bit difficult to get it out. There we go. So this washer was sitting like this. And there's actually two sides of this washer. One which is completely flat. And the bottom side is a bit edged off like this. And this washer is lying directly against a carbon fiber washer that we see in there so this is the drag you have on this reel well to be honest this is actually quite difficult um, you don't have any instructions on how to separate these things furthermore than that you can probably replace this one the carbon drag after removing this washer and this little clip sitting on the back but I'm going to go on from here and I'm going to rubber coat this as is. So we're just going to take some masking tape and put that just along the edge so that I don't get any rubber coating inside. And that's it. Now we've covered most of the things here. The benefit with these coatings is that you, you spray them on and then uh, what you don't like you can just peel it off. So we're going to take this one out. I've covered all the things here that actually has some kind of uh, bordering into some mechanisms and I'll cover this one over here too one last thing that needs to be said is that before you you do this rubber coating then you want to make sure that your item is clean so that the coating stays the trick here is to do multiple layers and once the first layer fastens then additional layers gonna get well stick to your item much easier. At this point I've done about like three or four layers and we're starting to actually see that it's
So now we're back in here and this is the result of the rubber coating I put on it. And I'm going to remove the masking tape and put it all back together. You have to be a bit careful with this one. This little thing here, this is the one that rotates against your reed mechanism and makes the sound. And that's it. So this is how you take apart your Reddington rice reel. You change your retreat direction if you want to do that. And this is finally also how you can how you can coat it with rubber coating that you may peel off at any moment you want. What I used was the Performix Plasti Dip Camo Matte Black. The nice thing with it doing this is that you get a very very soft feel to your aluminum and it builds very very thin layers and if you want to remove it you can take it off. Thanks for listening.